Hi there, it's Roy Breton here, sometimes known as a Christian Internet Marketer. Today we're going to be looking at the Yoast WooCommerce Premium Bundle. Now, if, if you've been watching my videos, I've been uh, created this website which is in the very early stages. It's taking a little bit longer than I would have liked, but everything takes time um, as I've got other projects that I'm working on. But what I thought I'd do for this uh, website called, called Roy's Plants and Flowers is to um, document everything I do, which I've been doing on my website. I'll put the link at the bottom of this video uh, so you can see what I've been doing. Um, so we've been adding products, I've been using the data feeder plugin, but today um, I'm going to try something that I haven't used before. I used the Yoast SEO. Some people use all-in-one all SEO. I actually much prefer the Yoast SEO and it's actually a much popular uh, much popular download but I'm going to try the premium one today so um, it's basically the Yoast WooCommerce premium bundle so it optimizes your content and shop at the same time and uh, they're giving a discount so uh, let's um, let's go and uh, check out uh, so one site is £99 plus VAT. Do get a discount if you want more sites. I'm just going to try it. I think about buying two, but I'm going to try it on one site first to see how I get it get on. Some people say say that it's not um, it's not actually worth the the extra money, um, but we're going to find out and see. So we're going to do experiments. I just think it's uh, trying to sell me two. I only want one bundle which brings the price down to £99 a year. Continue to order. Um, with the VAT, it comes out at £118.80. So um, I'm going I'm to stop this video uh, for a minute while I check out and come back in a few seconds. OK, so I've now purchased the, yeah, the two plugins. Um, so it says here's what to do next. Um, there's an installation guide, um, and it says you need to create an account with Yoast, which I have done. Um, also says you'll need to activate your plugin within my Yoast account. So here is my account here. So um, I'm going to download these these two products into into my documents I've created a Yoast folder and I will download them right now and be back in a second okay so I've now saved these plugins these two plugins to a folder in my documents uh, entitled Yoast it's always good to uh, keep everything organized I, I don't know how many folders I've got hundreds but you can't have too many folders because when you're looking for something it's good to know exactly where to go so um, let's go to the plugins page um, which we're on here we're going to add new uh, upload plugin and then let's say um, choose a file so let's choose a file and we're going to go to documents and we're scroll down to the Yoast somewhere down here as you can see there's a lot of folders there let's open that let's do the WordPress SEO premium first so we're going to click on that open uh, install now so it's installing you can see here wheel going around this cross here it means it's still installing uh, there it is uh, activate plugin And it's it's there. So um, let's 
so, so here it is, Yoast SEO Premium, the old one's still there, I guess I'll be deleting that and just using the new one. So um, let's, let's install the, the other plugin, so the WooCommerce one. Add new, upload plugin, choose file. Takes us straight to our folder and WooCommerce. Open. Install now. Activate plugin. And it's there. So and, and, and that's that. Um, so I'm just going to check out the settings, see if they need changing, or I might just stick with the default settings. I will just have a quick look to, for the sake of the video and come back. Okay, we're back again. Um, so here, here there's, it says there's the following issues uh, affect the, the SEO of your site. Well, um, I, I am actually connected to Yo Yoast WooCommerce SEO, so. Um, we're going to ignore them for the moment, they'll probably go away. So let's go to the configuration wizard. Once again, this is the first time I've done this, so if I sound a bit vague, um, that's why. So we just, uh, but just kind of want to do almost like a live, well, it's a live demonstration. So I'm going to choose A because whatever your site looks at, looks like, it's always better to start getting it indexing. Um, it can quickly be changed. So let's start. Um, so, what's to represent a blog, an online shop, news channel, small offline business, corporation portfolio, something else? So I'm going to put an online shop. Let's go to next. Uh, I'm going to put person here. And I'm going to put my name. Next. So search engine should allow posts in search results. Yes. Search engine should show pages. And yes. Search engine should show layouts. And yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yep, so I believe it on multiple authors. As I do. And keep that as uh, default. These sites, these, uh, these can be, um, these can be changed at any time. These, so. Uh, there's, there's training there, um, which I'm going to take a look at myself. So, uh, yes, good features. So let's go to next. Uh, more training. You've done it. So I'm going to finish this video here. Let's close that. Obviously, you can come back to this this at any time and change anything that you want to. And uh, as it says there, reopen the re. I'll start again. Reopen the configuration wizard. So just open it at any time. There it is. So let's go back. And that's it. So um, that's it for this video. Um, like I said, it's the first time I've done it, so it's a bit kind of fragmented. But anyway, I hope it's helpful. Um, be interested to hear about other people's results and how they found the Yoast uh, SEO plugin and the WooCommerce one. I've yet to find out. So, time will tell. Thanks very much for watching.